I've roamed and rambled, and I've followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all around me, a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. Whiskey Cast. Brought to you by Redbreast. The definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Those in the know, know Redbreast. There was always a bit of mystique about it. Where can I get it? It is Green Spot, one of the few remaining links to the single pot still Irish whiskies of the past. Green Spot was distilled for decades at the old Jameson Bow Street Distillery in Dublin, but it was bottled by Mitchell and Sons, the legendary Dublin whiskey and wine merchant that dates back to 1805. My great grandfather, Robert Mitchell, was brought into the business quite, quite as, as quite a young man. He 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 ran the business in Grafton Street for a number of years. He then bought, um, expanded the business. He bought 21 Kildare Street, which housed the wine importing business and eventually was the administration for the whiskey bonding business. That would have been in and around 1887. Back in the day, Mitchell and & Sons and other Irish whiskey bonders imported barrels of wine from Europe, then had the empty barrels filled with whiskey while the family's records show some barrels were filled at the Powers Distillery on John's Lane, the vast majority went to Jameson's on Bow Street. The friendship built up probably at uh, various functions uh, in those days between the Jameson family and the Mitchell family. And um, lucky that friendship has, has stood the, the test of time and um, it's led to a, a good link with both our families and... Um, I think it's the, the history of the two families at the start and the relationship and it's helped us to keep, keep the likes of Green Spot going when the other ones have fallen to one side and not produced anymore. Robert Mitchell would, would have a liaison at some stage with the, um, the head distiller in, 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 in Jemison's, or two of them, and they'd come up and after, I think, through four to five years, they would examine each of the casks and they would make the decision as to whether which cask would be best suited for a 10-year-old, 12-year-old or 15-year-old. They would make that decision there and then and the cask was, was daubed with a bit of green paint if it was, they wanted that whiskey to, to develop at 10 years old, yellow daubed with yellow paint for the for the 12 year old and red for the 15 year old which was green spot yellow spot and red spot yellow spot red spot and the seven year old blue spot eventually faded away into irish whiskey history but the mitchells kept on producing green spot as the irish whiskey industry consolidated into irish distillers in the mid 60s and opened middleton distillery in 1975 the Mitchells were forced to make a decision. We discussed with um, Irish distillers the, the, the prospect of Green Spot being extinguished altogether and suggested to them that they take, take the, the brand, we keep the mark for the Irish market, which is the current situation today. And effectively, we went out of bottling. We went out of bonding and bottling over a period of years. For years, the best place to find Green Spot was in the shops at Dublin and Shannon airports if you couldn't get to the Mitchell & Sons shop in Dublin. It was one of those cult whiskies that you had to search out to find, and the resurgence of Irish whiskey worldwide only increased demand. What does it mean to you now to see Irish whiskey back on the world stage I mean, if you look behind you, there are more Irish whiskies up there now than there were for many, many years. No, I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's fantastic, uh, the, the, the growth over the years. As you say, <clears throat> our company have been around a long time. We've seen a lot of 
downs and a lot of ups as well. And um, thankfully, um, <clears throat> at the, this present time, um, and in, certainly in relation to the Irish whiskey trade, uh, there, there was a great uh, 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 interest and um, uh, like, likeness for, for the Irish uh, whiskies, and that probably has a lot to do with, <coughs> with, the, with the success of, of, of Jemison, which has led to the interest in the whiskies like Green Spot and Yellow Spot and Red Breast. And people are <coughs> wanting to find out more, they're discovering these. these uh, whiskies which may not have been widely available worldwide and um, it's word of mouth and building up and uh, it's great to see you. Today Green Spot is part of the single pot stills of Middleton range, Yellow Spot was revived in 2012 and the Green Spot Chateau Leoville Barton edition was released in 2016. Might we see another spot at some point? Uh, well, let me see. I, I could tell you, Mark, but I have to kill you. I'm afraid. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are we going to see another spot? Well, at the moment we have uh, Green Spot, uh, we have Yellow Spot, and then the more recent launch was the Green Spot Leeville Barton, uh, and uh, that was launched <clears throat> a couple of years ago. Great success. Uh, the Barton family originally owned the K Club, and now have the, the lovely Chateau Leeville Barton out in Bordeaux. It's a great connection to be matched. Uh, with, with, the, with the green spot, the Mitchells, and to have the actual uh, barrels from Chateau Leville Barton with the green spot age in those actual barrels is, is quite something, and it certainly is a delicious uh, blend to have. And um, I know from the shops here it's extremely popular, and that's the, the buzz spot at the, at the moment. But coming down the future, <coughs> are there going to be spot range? I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. And um, is it your decision to make or is it IDL's decision to make? I think it's a combination of us all, really. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of <coughs> uh, appetite. It was, I mean, Greenspot was the only whiskey that uh, continuously had kept going. Uh, all the other spot ranges had come off the market. They reintroduced Yellow Spot and the Greenspot Lebel Barton is, is totally brand new. So <coughs> previously we did have a Red Spot and we did have a Blue Spot as well. Um, so whether it's maybe an alternative, um, another slant to the green spot or another spot range, who knows, but um, I suppose watch this space, but um, it'd be great to see and I, I know we'd be thrilled to have uh, some more spots coming onto our, onto our range. For more Cask Strength Conversation on whiskies with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Dublin, Ireland, I'm Mark Gillespie.